I feel like all the Democrats are going, all right, at this point, I still don't agree with you about guns. Because Michael Bloomberg is hell on earth for the gun industry, and you're not. Well, here's the difference between Michael Bloomberg and me, is I can talk to people about guns that love guns. And if you actually want to have gun reform go through, you need someone that can actually have a conversation with people that love guns. Because everyone else is going to be like, all right, I hate you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have all the Democrats against all the Republicans. And then we're going to, that's how we're going to decide together. When that's not me. Because who's a Republican? Not me. Who's a Democrat? Not me. Who thinks it's important for people to understand? Sorry for doing this, but who thinks it's important for people to understand that that means there's a gun, there is a bullet in the chamber, even if there's, even if that gun is unloaded, that means there's still a bullet in there. You can see it, sort of. That's something that people should know. Um, people should know that when you look at a Glock that's in a case with locks, and then you, you look at it, that means there isn't a gun in the chamber. There isn't a bullet in the chamber. But that means there is, because see how the trigger's further up. Like, but you should never touch the trigger. But actually, is there? There's nothing in there. But all, all I'm saying is, like, I think people should know that sort of thing because we're in a World War III type situation. And if you don't fully understand that, that's because you're not paying attention enough. And while you listen to these politicians talk about Donald Trump, like where the politicians want to fight the war by themselves, we'll, we, we, we are responsible for the American people's security, not the American people. That's their philosophy. My philosophy is I am responsible for the American people's security because I'm an American citizen. And no matter what happens, especially in my town where I live, it's kind of a nice thing that I have my gun. But at the same time, like I've said before, dude, the average person isn't meant to carry a gun like you're, it's on you on your person maybe in your car but on your person it can weigh on you and that's why i carry such a small gun because it, it's like when i was carrying that glock 26 you want to you want to talk about painful for my soul that thing when i like the the double stack part it's so thick it drives you nuts but um did I just point it at myself? No, I pointed it past my head, but it, there's nothing in the chamber. And once you know a gun well enough, you know there's nothing in the chamber. And in order to get to know your gun well enough, do you have to practice? Yes. So this whole idea, okay, if we get invaded, we'll all turn into the military and the military will train us and then we'll use all the, a bunch of bullets that have to be reloaded and then, we're, then we'll know how to shoot. And it's like, okay, are we going to all suddenly travel across, across your state to go find a military base? Of course not. Um, your security is up to you. And I think that's like why I feel the way I do about guns so much, because I understand that it is possible for us to get invaded. And if there's world war three, like I said, it's impossible for us not to get invaded. Like if, 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 if our enemy isn't completely like if every single one of our enemies isn't nuked, because like granted world war three might not even involve us. World War IV might involve us, but World War III might not. Um, that's, I think that's confusing for a lot of people too. Um, international relations are complicated. Um, the spy world is complicated, but the whole point of what I'm saying in this video is if you're a Democrat and you're going, I'm so against you on gun reform, then what I'll tell you is no one gets anything through on gun reform in the government. I can actually talk to the gun people about guns because I do love guns. I, I want a Kim, Kimber revolver. I just think they look cool. I want a, I want a full size SIG, but I, I might actually want a full size like a Nighthawk or, 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 or something else like a Dan Brown. Um, I, I, I want some fun guns to shoot. I want the weirdest custom guns. I want, I want, I want a gun made out of platinum. I want a gun made out of a meteor. I want a gun made out of, um, Oh gosh, I was about to say things that are bad to run, bad, bad when you're running for president. I was about to start making jokes about like guns that are made out of the souls of my enemies, but I do have a gun that probably has killed someone that, that, that Japanese gun, the Japanese Nambu. And I think it's important for people to have guns around that have killed people. Not really. No, but I do think it makes it, makes my gun stash way cooler, which by the way, 
five magazines because that one will six magazines because I have a magazine for my Japanese Nambu that I don't even have bullets for. And that's the difference between like, say that, say that you have like, I, I, I like the laws have to be complicated because you have to go, okay, well, how, how many bullets do they have for that magazine? So I actually have, I have, I have a 380 or 38 super magazine. I have a 45 magazine. I have a 40, 40 magazine, but I only have 20 bullets for each of those. But, but the big thing is, I, I don't, I don't think people understand is I don't want someone coming in with one gun and 15 magazines and shooting up a place. And that's why, um, my stance on guns is actually practical because I'm in the war on not dying. You want to talk about someone that's in the war on terrorism? Who's met terrorists? Like famous terrorists that you guys don't even know exist. Me. I'm the one that actually interacts with the terrorists. I'm the one that can uh, like reads body language and starts to try to predict behavior. I'm the one that has to get out of the freaking room because I've seen it before. Because I know what it's like when someone's that mad at me. Like, I mean, it's really hard to explain how I'm the one that actually uh, um, knows why the gun laws exist. It's not a, I'm going to get a political win. It's a, I understand why the gun laws exist thing. And when you understand why the gun laws exist, you can believe in common sense gun reform. But I'm also not going to piss off all the, all, all the gun owners. Because let's face it, who wants like 50 guns? But do I need bullets for all 50 of my guns? Of course not. Do I even need magazines for all 50 of my guns? Not really, because if I have a Glock 17, a Glock 19, and a Glock and a, and a, a, a Glock 26, do I really need magazines for all of them? Well, not really. Um, because they all are double stacked. They can all handle, like, um, they can all handle the same magazines. But all I'm saying is, yeah, I'm good for actually dealing with, I, I can actually get gun, gun reform through, have I thought about it very, very much? Honestly, I haven't. That's why I'm coming up with a, bury your gun, bury your magazines. That, like, I'm coming up with ideas on the spot.